Good day, welcome to our quick unboxing setup and uh, demonstration of the Logitech uh, Spotlight presentation remote. The Logitech Spotlight works unlike any laser pointer you've used in the past. Uh, laser pointers work by projecting light, a laser, onto uh, whatever surface. Unfortunately, when you're uh, pointing them at LCD screens, these modern flat, pa flat panels, the image gets absorbed. So you do not see uh, the light. Uh, they work just fine if you're working with a projector and a screen, but they do not work with modern flat panel screens. So what Logitech has come up with is a controller that works much like a Nintendo Wii. And in fact, what you're doing when you're pressing the buttons is moving software around the screen. You're not actually moving a light that's projected from the wand. You are having software magnify, highlight, or zoom in on what's on the screen. All I've done with this unit is to take the box and cut the seals on it, but I have, haven't taken this one out. Uh, so let's just take a quick look at the edges in case there's something there you care about. Uh, nothing particularly interesting. No, all right, so that's fine. So let's pull this apart and see what we have. Okay, so there's nothing in the bottom of that, in the lid. There's a presenter and I see there's a sticker on the back. What does the sticker say? It says to download the software and highlight, magnify at the timer. Okay, that's fine. Right, so this just pulls off, that's just garbage. I know from past experience, you can take a screwdriver and pop this cover off and the battery is, on, is in here. Uh, let's see, there's a little tab I can pull up here. Yep, there we go. And what's this? This is the uh, charging cable? Yes, it is. All right, so let's just pop that out and we'll finish with that. Uh, then there's this carrying case that I doubt anybody's going to use, but I, I suppose if you're traveling with it, you might. Um, it, I thought it was just a pad originally, but it looks like you can just jam it in there and well, that looks like that's what you do with it. You can jam the road right into there. Okay, so yeah, there's the explanation of how to uh, pop the uh, back off and get the battery out if you need to. Um, all right, and that's all that's in the box. So I'm gonna clear this junk off and let's get to it. So the first thing you need to do is uh, take the remote and pull this bottom out. That's the USB receiver, okay? So that is uh, what you need to jam into your computer. Uh, you may ask yourself, why did they ship a uh, Type-C connector to a standard uh, USB connector? And the answer is, that's a pretty deep channel. I don't know why they did that exactly, but they did. So yeah, it's hard to see in there, but yeah, you can see a little bit. So what you have to do is put this in, pop it in like that, and then take it to a USB port and plug it in. However, you don't have to use this. You can just use a regular Type-C connector and plug it in. There it is, and when you plug it in, uh, it will vibrate and the light at the end will flash telling you how much charge there is on it. Uh, when it get turned solid, that means that it's fully charged. From a little bit of experience with this, it doesn't take that long, uh, maybe an hour or something to, to give it a full charge. So let's go on and download the software and get it set up and we'll show you how it works. Okay, so while I've got the unit, uh, the Logitech Spotlight uh, charging, let's go to logitech.com and download the drivers for it. So they don't, they're not included in the box. So we go to, uh, well, it's a bunch of ways to get to it. I find the easiest way is to go to products and then down to spotlight. And then from spotlight, go to features and software and there's software and it will just download. In my case, it's Windows 10. Here it is done, I'm gonna open it. Now you'll note I have not plugged the USB uh, dongle in yet. I do have the unit plugged in, but it's just charging. So uh, let's continue install. Uh, yeah, I'll give them my data on this, so that's fine. Okay, so it's asked me to choose the device. Okay, so it's asking me to make sure that I've got it plugged in, uh, not with the receiver, that I just have the dongle. That is exactly how I have it. As it suggests here, the LED on the top of my spotlight is flashing and showing the charge. We're going to sp speed this up for you like we did the install. Okay, so let's unplug the dongle. Now I'm going to plug in the receiver just like it suggests. There it is. Well, I'll just do exactly what it says. I'm going to press the uh, large button in the middle. There it goes. And hold it. Spotlight connected. Go. Let's walk through the tour very quickly. I'm just going to click on the big button. Now to get to the next slide, of course, you just press the, uh, uh, the large button. To go back, you press the other button. The spotlight, of course, is the top, so let's, uh, let's go. Uh, I will press the 
spotlight button at the top and look what that does. That's me moving it around, just waving it in my hand. Very easy. Okay, so let's just show you that again. I'm gonna press the spotlight button and look what that does. Now I have two screens and it will go across both screens. So if I'm wanding this thing. You can hear that it has a vibration alert and I can tell you, you can feel it. Let's go into the app. So we can go into the timer. I don't want the clock, but I could turn all of this on and set a timer and I could expand this. Not going to because I don't want it for the purpose of this conversation. Uh, actually, I'll just turn that off for the moment. Uh, the highlight, uh, let's go into that. So these are the different settings. So I can uh, adjust the, uh, the brightness in the background. Uh, I'll leave it at the default. Set how large I want the highlight to be. Let's go back. Magnify, we can turn on as well. So with Magnify, I have turned that on. I'm going to just press and hold the, the button again. And instead of making everything uh, spotlight, it magnifies. Pretty straightforward. And setting digital laser, I can again do the same thing. I can go in and I can obviously adjust these settings. Let's just show you what happens. I'll press the laser and off we go. So I have all three modes turned on. And what I can do is I can double click now and go between them. So if I just click once, it'll give me whatever I'm on, which in this case is zoom. If I double click, you can hear that. It changes to the pointer. Double click again, and it'll change to the zoom. So let's go back to the settings. So the, uh, the large button in the middle, if I press and hold it, these are the different things that I can have it uh, do. Um, start presentation, black, black the screen out, so on and so forth. I like the default. And the uh, little back button that's at the bottom. Uh, what does it do? Well, it uh, I can adjust volume, I can make it uh, do a keystroke, or I can have it do nothing. Okay, let's go into more settings. The interesting thing here is if you don't have uh, enough USB ports, you can use this unit with, with Bluetooth. And you can do it through this setting right here. Just simply turn Bluetooth on and uh, the, it will walk you through the setup. It's not very difficult to do. And that's about it. If you have any questions, please get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. Thank you. Bye-bye.